About two years ago, I made a video on how to clean luxury vinyl plank floors. And since then, I've had a lot of comments about people asking about how to deep clean their floor. The method that I showed was more for light duty and routine cleaning, and it works great for that. But for active households with kids and pets and things like that, sometimes the flooring might require a deeper cleaning. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Now you can hire a company to clean your luxury vinyl plank floors. The issue comes in in that a lot of these companies are using really high pressure and a lot of water to clean your floors. And if there's any problems with the installation of the planks and there's gaps, water can easily penetrate into those gaps. You can see there are several places on this floor where the planks are not touching. So if you're using high pressure and a lot of water, you're really asking for problems to come about. In the previous video, I was using Shaw Hard Surface Flooring Cleaner, and I still really like this product. The only problem with it is it's kind of hard to get, and the only place that I can find it is on Amazon. I'm not able to find it locally anywhere. So another product that works really well is the Zep Neutral pH Floor Cleaner. And being a neutral pH cleaner, it should be safe for any vinyl plank flooring. And even better, it's available at both Home Depot and Lowe's. And Zep products are pretty good. They kind of bridge the gap between consumer products and pro products because there's a lot of professionals that use Zep products. To clean the floors today, I'm going to be diluting it at just one ounce per gallon. So a gallon of it's going to go really far. And it's only about $10 per gallon. The first thing I did was I swept the floors. And to do the cleaning, I'm going to be using a soft bristle deck brush. You don't want to use anything too abrasive. And the truth is you don't really need anything that's too rough on the floors. And remember that these floors have a protective layer that can get scratched pretty easily. So you don't want anything that's going to be too aggressive on it. Now remember when you dilute this product, less is always more. If you don't think it's clean well enough, you can always add another ounce or so per gallon. But you don't want your floors to end up being streaky or anything like that. So I always recommend starting off with a really low dilution. So first I'm going to mist on some of the cleaner. I've got the whole floor covered pretty well, so I'm going to let this set for just about five minutes. Now I'm going to take my soft bristle brush and just kind of work that into the LVP. The Zep Neutral pH Floor Cleaner is a no rinse product, so you can mop it up with a microfiber mop, or I'm just going to use some white cotton towels and use them on the end of the brush to mop it up. And you can already see just how much dirt and grime is pulled off of this floor. And the floor didn't even look dirty. But that's because a lot of the dirt was down into the textured surface that surface mopping really doesn't get. All right, if I put a clean towel down. All right, I got another towel down. I'm going to go over it one more time. And depending on how much more dirt that it picks up, if, if it doesn't pick up too much more, this would be the last one I use. If not, I'll go over it again. All 
Okay, let's see what it looks like. Yep, still picking up a fair amount of dirt. And that's all that dirt that's hidden that you normally can't get to. So let's go over it a little bit more. Okay, we're definitely picking up less dirt now. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I don't think we're going to get much more dirt from this floor. But remember, when you first saw this floor, it really didn't look all that dirty. Now I'm going to clean the bathroom area. So the LVP floors are looking pretty good. And even though they didn't look all that dirty to begin with, just here in the bathroom area, you can see how much dirt came off onto these towels. So even when your floors don't look all that dirty, they're a lot dirtier than you think they are. But if you want to deep clean them, not only to make them look good, but make them last longer to remove all the dirt and grit that can abrade the wear layer and make them wear prematurely, you do need to deep clean them periodically. And this is a very easy and economical way to do it. And it gives great results. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.